Hey yo, this is Dash, and I apologize. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. I'm using my phone. I realized that my camera, the battery was dead on my camera, and I had this great idea of a video. So taste testing number two, three, Speed. all right, three is gonna help me today. We are going to take, and we, we, I have a couple hundred dollars to spend, and I'm gonna buy a new cooker, and she's <laughs> gonna help, all right? Join us. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. Okay, first stop, Home, the Home Depot. We're gonna go inside and check out and see what they have. All right, so we made it inside, all right? And we're gonna, we're gonna look around. So they have a couple of these char grillers here and there are some others. Let's see, what are these? This is a Weber, oh, this is a Weber, I think this is a Weber, oh, Spirit 2. Not really looking for a gas grill. They have these dino glows over here. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Another Weber Spirit 2. And a next grill. So we're not looking for propane. So let's go back up the aisle and see what else they have. But they have some, let's see here. Let's look at the charcoal. Nope, thanks for, thanks for some royal oak. Embers? There's a, there's a couple of you guys who use those embers. How are they? How is that charcoal? Let's see, more grills, more grills. Oh. All right, so more next grill stuff. Oh wait, here are some vertical ones over here. We have the Masterbuilt Pro Series, the, that one looks like it's charcoal, electric, uh, uh, propane, and this one might be pellet. Uh, I think it's, nope, it says charcoal. All right, but it's got a fan down at the bottom. So temperature control, interesting. All right, let's see what else is over here. So I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I don't see what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for offset smoker. So I don't see it. All right, any thoughts? Anything you need to add? Um. Speak up. Oh gosh, anyway. Here's what they have, kind of a sparse selection. There are more grills outside, but not what I'm looking for. All right, unsuccessful at the Home Depot. We are going to go to Lowe's next and see if we can see anything else differently. Did you see anything that you liked over there? Um, I like the one that were like outside in the front. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't show you what was outside, so yeah. we'll we'll do a quick drive by of what's outside. All right, so here we are doing a quick drive-by. So this, oh. All right, so unfortunately I can't zoom in. I thought I was gonna zoom in. This this grill here is kind of like the old rectangular grill that I had. It looks like just a newer version. And this one over here looks similar, or they look similar to my wife's grills, but or grill, but none of those are what I am looking for. Okay, little girl, where are we now? Lowe's. Lowe's. <laughs> All right, so look, this one right here, this charbro, that's that one's kind of like mommy's. Yep. Uh, sorry about the wind noise in advance. Yep, these are majority propane. There's a couple, there's a couple, uh, charcoal ones here or at least that one. that one and this one but this thing looks like it's been out here all summer long and the paint doesn't look too so hot yeah there's, there's rust developing all in the corner Woo. all right let's go inside and see if they have anything more in there 
All right. All right, look at this. This is something different. This is a Pit Boss. Little, uh, this is a Pro, Pit Boss Pro Series PB600. So I guess it's the PB600. Then it's on sale, 349. All right, let's see. You like that one? A little pellet cooker. No, not that one. You like those more? Yeah. All right, so they have Weber stuff here. So this is the Genesis 2. I don't even see a price tag on it. If you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it. <laughs> so that's Spirit 2, 469. Oh wait, the prices, are they above it? That's just 349, oh, 669. Nope, out of our price range for that. All right, let's see, what else? Spirits, spirit. Oh, this one's on sale, 468, but we don't want a gas grill. All right, there's a char broil, blur. Char griller, this is like the one that I used to have, that big square rectangular grill. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Maybe. Look at this Oklahoma Joe Bronco. Was three forty nine. Now it's two forty nine. This is like a ugly drum smoker. All right. This one here. This one I was trying to tell you. This is like the old grill that I used to have. I actually just took it to the metal recycler. But those of you guys, those of you guys who've been around for a while, if you remember the grill that I dropped off the trailer. It was just like this one. So, but that's the whole thing. Remember I was saying that that's the one that's on sale. That's it fully assembled. Yep. Oh, this one over here. So this one over here, 449. It's uh, the Pit Boss, it says Pro, uh, PVB 4PS2. I'm not really not up on the on the model. So Pro Series 4, 449. All right. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, it is. So this is the. What is it? Yes, you can connect your phone to it. Okay, so this is the 1150, the Pro Series 1150, and these are smaller. Okay. So here's Oklahoma Joe's. Oh, this is like, I think Ricer has one of these. I think, he, oh, the, the Ryder. This is the Ryder DLX. And this must be an early model one because it has issues with the, the sticker sticking to it. But, hmm. Pro Series 1100. It's the Pro Series 850. And this is the Ryder DLX. I didn't realize it was so tall. It was so high. That's kind of good. All right, let's see. Oh, I do. <laughs> it is sticking to me. All right, some smaller pit boss back here that doesn't have a shelf or anything on it. And another vertical. Let's see if there's anything else down the aisles. That might be it. All right, so we were headed out and we found these two things, gems. Look at this one. This is the Oklahoma Longhorn. My goodness. This is huge. All right. That is way bigger than I. I don't know why. I, I thought it was smaller in person. I was going to say there was something wrong with the thermometer, but it's just upside down. <laughs> All right. No luck at the Lowe's. And this little one is just a uh, chatty Kathy here. Uh, but no luck. Oh boy, let's just do What's up, my man? Crazy question. Yep. You ever use for a smart projector for your cave? I wish I had a use for a smart projector, but I don't, man. Deal? I'm, 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 what's the deal? Let me hear you out. Well, you don't have to show me. Just tell me what, how much it. That's like getting a haircut. 
Well, thanks, man. I... Not today. I ain't got time for it. All right. Anybody remember getting speakers sold to them out of white vans in Lowe's and Home Depot parking lots? That's pretty much what not just happened, but pretty much. I mean, dude, I, I just, just tell me how much you're trying to sell a speaker for, for the, the projector. If you're trying to sell a home projector, we we have one. Yeah, and we got a whole cat, uh, set of like 11 pieces. Of what? What are you talking about? Like at um, Ontario's house, we got a set of like 11 pieces. Oh, that's a speaker. Okay, home theater system. That's what you're talking about. All right, anyway. I'm gonna pick this up a little later. Trying to, we're gonna. I'm gonna look elsewhere for uh, this cooker. I'm looking for. Well, let me tell you what I'm looking for. I really would like a offset cooker because that's the one type of cooker I don't have. And I figure if I look for one, maybe I can find one, and we can learn how to use the offset smoker together. Excuse me. <laughs> Together, not you, them. <laughs> All right, well, I'll pick this up, hopefully, maybe a little later. I have dad duty things to do, picking up kids from school, making sure they get home, get their homework started. So I might pick this up a little later when I go back out and try to find the cooker that I'm looking for. All right. See y'all in a bit. The following day. So I am, uh, well, we are back at it. We're picking this video up where we left off yesterday. This is gonna be day two of trying to find a new cooker. So today we are at a Ace Hardware. And we're gonna go inside and see what they have, all right? All right. All right, so I have made it to the outdoor barbecue section or we have made sure. it to the outdoor barbecue section and they have a well here's a trigger timberline 1300 well out of my budget let's see what else is here this is which trigger is this one i don't know but i don't want another pellet cooker what is the timberline 850 see the price on that one there's a pro 780 Getting closer to my budget. I didn't hear you. Oh yeah, look at that Blackstone. Go ahead, lift it up. I do have a Blackstone, but that one is much bigger than the Blackstone I have. It looks like a hibachi. It does? Well, the hibachi is a big griddle, so you're right. Let's see. They don't seem to have, oh, here's some B&B &B lump charcoal. Golly, y'all see how much that is per bag? It's a mini one. Oh yeah, this is a Weber Jumbo, Jumbo Joe. Joe. <laughs> we have one of these. Really? Yep. 20 pound bag, $20. Hmm, I've used a couple of these different types of charcoal, but we will, we'll have to come back down here and try some stuff out. They have a decent selection of seasonings and spices as well. If you guys see something here that there's something I absolutely have to try, please pause the video and let me know. Like I've, oh yeah, the, the gas traveler, propane traveler, yep. Yeah. All right, so I have used a couple of those Cosmos cues, Cosmo Q trying to look and see if there's anything else but if you guys see anything that you think I absolutely have to try comment down below all right let me keep looking around all right let me see mono thank you okay and look left look right okay so we didn't find anything in the ace hardware unfortunately they they seem to only have triggers, <laughs> which is not that big of a problem, but they did have a decent selection of charcoal. So I'll be back up here. Maybe we'll have to do some sort of like some experiments with some charcoal or something. All right, so I think, I think I'm gonna put a pin in it. Well, we are gonna put a pin in it right here. So you wanna tell them bye and thanks for watching. And bye. if they haven't already, please do like and subscribe.
<laughs> all, those, all of those things? Oh, you're just gonna... No, I was gonna say it, but then you go and tell me. I don't want to say it. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the subscription bell. Yeah, the notification the bell. The notification bell. And... See next time? Oh, the, oh we'll thumbs see. up? Hit the thumbs up. <laughs> see you next time. Well, bottom, baby. <laughs>